Hello guys, in this video we will look at how to validate HMAC. We will define what HMAC is and implement HMAC validation as a middleware in an API project. HMAC stands for Hash-Based Message Authentication Code. An HMAC algorithm works by hashing a message along with a secret key. The resulting hash is called a signature or digest. The message is then transferred to a recipient along with a signature if the recipient has the secret key, they can hash the message with the same algorithm and verify the resulting signature matches the one sent with the message. As a result, the message is simultaneously authenticated and its integrity is verified. The two main benefits of HMAC include the following. First, since an HMAC requires a secret key, both the sender and recipient have to have the same secret key for HMAC verification to work. Unlike access token, the secret key is never sent with the message, therefore it can be intercepted. As a result, the HMAC acts similarly to a password. It is very important to keep the secret key safe. Since it is used like a password, it needs to be saved in an encrypted storage. It's also important to use sufficiently long secret key that cannot be brute forced by password breakers. Second, an HMAC is based not only on the secret key, but also on the message itself. If two HMACs are created with the same secret key, but different messages, the resulting code will be different. When the API sees that its HMAC matches the HMAC in the request, it knows the request was not modified during transport. Since hackers will try to modify messages in between clients and servers, HMAC signatures can be a powerful tool to verify authenticity of requests. I cloned repository node API starter from my GitHub. I also created a route in the routes folder API webhooks. And here I have an index file that will use process webhook from the controller. And in the controller, we just return OK 200. Next, I also added a couple ENV variables. In the .env file, I put webhook routes, and this will be API webhooks. And I also added app secret variable, and I generated secret from generate secret.vercel.app, and I put as a 64 bit, so it's sufficiently long. Uh, secret. I also updated in the manager in the config folder and I added the function that is called get app secret and this function is returning app secret in the variable. The reason I created a specific function for it is that app secret starts with the numbers so according to the code in the env manager it will treat it as a number so in order for it not to convert it into a number, I created a special function for it. Now let's go ahead and test our setup. We'll do yarn dev, and we will use Postman to make an API call. In the Postman, we will do a post request to API webhooks endpoint, and let's click send, and we can see that the response is OK 200. Now let's go ahead and implement HMAC verification. In order to calculate HMAC, we need to get hold of raw body of the request. The easiest way to do it in Express is to use verify function in Express JSON middleware. Let's do exactly that. Let's go to server.ts function and in Express.json, let's put the following code. We're going to be using verify function and it will going to take request, which is the request from Express, and it will take response and the buffer. So we will check if the request of the original URL is the webhooks route, and then we assign buffer to request raw body property. However, this property does not exist on Express request, and this is why TypeScript complains. We need to add a raw body property to express request interface. In the SRC folder, let's create a new file express.d.ts. That will be a declaration file. 
and we will put the following code in there. We will import express. Then we're going to declare a global namespace express. This is how express has it. Then we're going to use take the interface request and we add a row body optional property that will be a type of buffer. And that's it. Let's go ahead and save our changes. And now if we go back to server.ts file, TypeScript is happy. Since interface declarations get merged, we essentially extended express request interface by adding row body property. We also have to be sure that the express.d.ts file is included into types option of the tsconfig.json if you have a types option explicitly defined. Next, let's create a couple of functions in functions.ts file in utils folder. First, we're going to create function create hmac that will take a message. hmac will be calculated by create hmac and we will use SHA-56 algorithm and also we'll get a app secret from the ENB. We'll do hmac update and we'll return hmac digest and we'll use a hexadecimal. The next function will be verify hmac. It will take message and it will take received hmac. And again, we're going to be calculating hmac from this message and we'll use the function create hmac that we just wrote. And we will return crypto timing safe equal and we'll take buffer from hmac from message in the UTF and we'll take buffer from received hmac and the result will be either there the same or different. Now let's also not to forget to import in the manager and also crypto. Now let's create new file in middleware folder. We'll call it validate hmac and let's write the code that will validate the incoming hmac. First, let's import next function request and response from express and also logger from utils logger and import verify hmac from utils functions. So we're going to export default fun function validate hmac will take request response and next we're gonna get hmac signature and we will get it from x hmac header and if there is no x hmac header hence there is no hmac signature we'll throw a new error hmac signature is missing this error will be caught in the error handler middleware so that's why we're going to be just throwing errors in the validate hmac so next we're going to create a body string. We will take the request draw body and put it to string because it's a buffer. And then we're going to try to verify HMAC. And if HMAC doesn't, is not very verified, we'll throw an error. HMAC is invalid. Then we're going to, we're going to also have the cage block because verify HMAC function can also throw an error to us. And then we're going to log that error and throw it. So, error handler can catch it. And after that, we'll just put next function. If everything goes through and HMAC is verified, we'll pass the request to the next function. And finally, let's attach this middleware to the webhooks route. Let's go into the index.ts file in the API folder and right after the webhooks route, we'll just put our validate HMAC middleware and we also need not to forget to import it. Now let's go ahead and make an API request in the postman. Let's go ahead and click send again. And as a result, we have an error. The reason why it's showing like that is because the application in the development environment. So for developers, it's going to be easy to see it. Let's go ahead and change the environment to production. And now we got the error message, the HMAC signature is missing. The reason it says that is because we do not have X HMAC header and the value for it. So let's create it. We'll put X HMAC and put A, B, C, D. Now, if we click send, the response will be that HMAC is invalid. So in order for HMAC to get validated, it needs to be created on the client in the same way it was created in the server. So we can simulate that in Postman by using pre-request script. 
let's uncheck H X H Mac header here and just go to pre-request script. In the pre-request script, we're going to put the following code. We're going to calculate the signature using SHA-256, the same algorithm, and we're going to get the raw body, and we will use the same key, and then we put it to string, and then we will add XHMAC header with the value of the signature. Now let's go ahead and try the code, and you can see we got OK200, so HMAC validation passed. Now, if we open the console and look at the post request, we can see that XHMAC signature is right here in XHMAC header. Now, if we put a few spaces in the JSON body and send the request again, the HMAC signature validates. However, it is different from what we've had before. As you can see, a few spaces change the message and therefore HMAC signature. So that's why it is important to take the raw body when validating HMAC. This is how you can validate HMAC server side in your API project. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.